Welcome to Channel 8 Resolves, where we play a new deck list every video. I'm Country Fry. Today, we'll be talking about Celestia Tokens combos. Guys, did I copy the list from TCG Player or Arena Zone Top 50 decks? Yeah, but it had some Dominary United uh, cards that I wanted to see, like King Darien and... Uh, and uh, the Queen, and just what we could do with Celestia in general, and it was a lot of fun. What's even more fun is the game that you get in this. It's one game, but we went up against Orzhov Clerics, and man, I didn't expect it to be that strong, but we had a blast. Game super long. We're going to get into the deck list. We're going to go do the outro. Uh, when we go into the deck list opening, I do forget the one card, the Defiler, but uh, we cover it again in the outro, and then, uh, of course, in the outro, I suggest a couple of changes, but anyways, guys, while we're kicking this stuff out left and right so you guys can get some Dominary united material we're also having a blast playing we'll be streaming tonight if this video is out before the stream and until then guys i'm gonna let you get to it enjoy the deck list enjoy the video i hope you guys have a great one stay safe be happy and healthy peace i'm not on adderall it's caffeine <laughs> all right all right guys so we got celestia tokens combos uh this is another one of those 50 deck list from it was either mtg arena or tcg player uh either one you can go to it and read the article i think if you go to mtg arena zone though i think it's a, a premier membership only but uh this is just the idea off of one of those lists i wanted something quick i wanted to see a couple of these cards and of course with uh us pushing as much content as possible and trying to see some of these cards and utilize them in ways that can kind of showcase the new stuff uh, this is one of the deck lists I picked, so let's go ahead and hop into this. We've got a little bit of card draw action with the Rite of Harmony. Of course, you cast this as an instant. I loved using this way back in the day with, uh, well, not way back in the day, but with Abzan tokens, especially with like Scoot Swarm and stuff like that, but now we don't have it. But Rite of Harmony is a green and a white. It's an instant, and whenever a creature or an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, this turn, draw a card. Now, we don't get this off in this game. But it's a really good card to utilize, especially late game, because you could see where we could use it when you watch this game. It gets really late game and kind of drags out, and both decks are really good matches against each other. And it was an epic game, so definitely stick through it. And uh, it kind of it showcases what both of these decks can do. So you're going to see Orzov Clerics from the opponent, and you're going to see the Celestia tokens from uh, us. So with that... Uh, we have a little bit of token generating action with Join the Dance, and of course you can cast it for its two costs, and you cast it again for its uh, flashback of five, which is three colors, and a green and a white. We've got Wedding Announcement, which can generate us some tokens, or if we're attacking it with two creatures, we can draw some cards, and then of course once it's uh, got the three counts on it, then all your creatures get plus one, plus one. Uh, we got Luminar uh, Lunark Veteran, and then Luminous Phantom. Um, on the veteran side, you gain a life whenever a creature comes in. And then if you cast it for its disturbed cost of two, the one colorless and the one white, and you come in on the phantom side, then whenever another creature you control dies, then you also uh, gain a life as well. So we've got plenty of life gain going on here. Uh, we got Resolute Reinforcements. It's one colorless, one white. It's got Flash. It comes in as a 1-1. One, one. And then when uh, it enters the battlefield, you create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. Uh, we got Catilda Donhart Prime in here. It's green white. It's one one protection from werewolves, which we don't really need that much anymore. But of course, people are going to be playing Brutal Cathar, so if it flips, then it's good. But if Brutal Cathar is flipping, they're probably taking Catilda if they landed it on the board on its Cathar side, anyways. However, the protection from werewolves is there. It's not why we're using it. Why we're using it is human creatures you control have tap, add one mana of any of this creature's color. And then, of course, we can do her mana sync at six and put plus one, plus one counters on each uh, creature you control, which I probably should have done this game, but I went hyper focus on King Darien. And we'll get to that here in a second. So now looking at this and reading this deck list off while I'm, I'm presenting it to you guys during the game, man, you got to understand. Sometimes I just get locked in and single sided on stuff uh, sometimes. So it is what it is. But uh, the gameplay is great. Uh, Brutal Cathar, we all know it's 2-2. Two -two it comes in. It basically acts like a uh, borrowed time or an enchant that basically exiles a uh, target creature and opponent controls. Um, and then, of course, if it goes nightbound, it flips. It becomes a 3-3, three -three and it's got first strike. It's got a ward cost of pay three life just to target it to remove it. And then if we could turn it back to 
daytime again, then we get to pick something else up, creature-wise. So Brutal Cathar is a must-answer. Your opponents are going to know it. So if you use it and you lose it, don't worry about it because this deck goes out of control. And then we've got the three over here, the three new ones. And the reason I separated them from the rest of the pack is uh, including Resolute Reinforcements is because these three surprised the hell out of me. King Darian blah 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 um, has one colorless, a green and a white and then when he comes down he's a legendary creature, he's a human soldier, he's 2-3 other creatures you get get plus one plus one and then of course you can sacrifice King Darian and creature tokens you control gain hexproof and indestructible until the end of the turn. It's the five cost mana sink that we're looking at here. It goes crazy. You put a plus one, plus one counter on King Darien and create a one, one white uh, soldier creature token. However, uh, the soldier creature token, if you've got a uh, wedding announcement in, it's going to get a plus one, plus one from that as well. So just keep that in mind that uh, these may be coming in as two twos or three threes depending on what you do and then of course you can also do what i didn't do is start mana sink and katilda's plus one plus one counters across the board why i did that i have no idea man. i just got hyper focused on darian and i was just losing my mind the game was absolutely bonkers i was having a blast especially showcasing this big bad boy because somebody told me that he looks like me um I think he's probably a little bit older, and he's definitely rocking that wintertime uh, going hunting beard. So, uh, good-looking guy, though. Good-looking guy. Way outperformed what I planned on him doing. Okay, now here's one. we got to watch how we pronounce this. <laughs> Queen Alino of <laughs> Rudok, I guess. Rodok. Oh, my God. The whole name is just Queen all eno of Rodok. Okay, one green, two white. Uh, I'm going to quit messing around with the name because it's going to catch me eventually one time. Um, it's power and toughness. <laughs> Queen's power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. Gets big quick. Ba boom boom. Uh, if one or more creature tokens you would be, uh, would be created under your control, those tokens uh, plus another plus a 1-1 one, one white soldier uh, creature token are created instead. So if you've got wedding announcement on the board and you put her in, then you're creating the 1-1 one, one off of this, but you're also creating another 1-1 one, one off of her. And if you've got veteran on the board, your life gains just starts going through the roof. And if you've got King Darian in and you're creating 1-1 one, one off of him, and then you're creating another 1-1 one, one off of her, and Lunar veteran is just... Yeah, it gets out of control, guys. This deck was so much fun to play. The other thing that I loved about this, what somebody's not looking for, is Plaza of Heroes. Okay, so we only rock one in here. I'm thinking about maybe dropping one planes and putting two in here. Because look at that three cost there at the bottom. Uh, Exile Plaza of Heroes, target legendary creature gains hex hexproof and indestructible until the end of turn. It pops up in this game. Watch it. It's great. Man, this deck was so much fun. It was just so much fun. So much interaction going on. I got I got zero in and tunnel vision on King Darien. I didn't pay attention to Katilda, which I should have, but I don't play Katilda that much, but now I probably will because this deck rocks. And to whoever my opponent was, they quit on the last turn when we had death on the board. They didn't good game. I wish they would have. I would have GG'd them back. I mean, that Orzov Clerics deck that they're rocking, oh, my God. Watch that deck as well. The deck is insane. It way outperformed what I was expecting as well. So, so far, Dominary United, absolutely outstanding. Having a blast with this rotation. You know what else I'm having a blast with? Not seeing one arc aspirant drop on the board. So with that, guys, stay safe, be happy and healthy. I'll see you at the end of the video where we're, we'll wrap up this deck list. And until then, peace. Enjoy the gameplay, guys. All right, opponent goes first. Man, this is not good. We're going to mulligan. <laughs> what the crap? Oh. wait and see if we draw another land they go first yeah let's try it 
It's not like we need a lot. We're playing the same crap. Ends up being this thing, man. No blocks. It's pretty tight. It's pretty good. What we got over here? Okay. down so if we do get to attack we can draw cards if we get in with two more attackers if not we still we can start putting up blockers at least too so there's that two to the top man yep Just worried about if they've got any removal spells. Give us a lane. Right on. She's good. She's, yeah, highlighter. She's good. <laughs> oh, she's good. Oh. Queen Alino of Rodak. <laughs> I don't know, man, but you're a queen. You're definitely a queen. So they definitely want to draw a card. Okay. We'll go two blockers deep. Make you discard.
Should have went in with Cathar too. It's alright. We're gonna gain life off of this, especially with the double ups. Sweet. So we got King Darien on the ground and Queen Alino. Be careful with that name. Queen Alino. <laughs> Just be careful with that name. Um, it's just token creatures. Right? Creature tokens? Yeah. So, yeah, I get it. That's fine. It did a lot of its damage already. I just want the card draw. They can do whatever. Sure. God, lands again, dude. So they're gonna use. Their exile effect on the brute. So, oblivion. Man, Orzov Clerics got stuff going on, man. That's nice. I was thinking whether I wanted to attack him or not, but I don't think, uh... Sorry. Answering text while I'm playing. Recording. It's awesome. Okay. 
So resolve. Yep. Do your thing. We're gonna attack in with a few. We got you. Okay, so my turn. Lord. up start taking them out one by one make them spend their uh, make them spend their mana elsewhere draw something else. This is mind-numbing. This has got to freak them out a little bit. They're going to have to see that we're going to start out pacing them, right? Darian's a beast, man. A beast. Game's taking way longer than I expected, man. Oh, so they think they got Death Touch. Did they not read about heroes over there?
fucking lord. What is this match? It's so crazy. Nobody shall get the upper hand. Might as well, right? I mean, he's got, he can block three. He's gonna be taking a whole lot else. This deck is insane. I actually like them both a lot, a whole lot. It's fine. You're just gonna sack it and do the plus one, plus one to everything again. That's fine. Come on! We got Queen. Be careful with her name. Alright. Anyways, GG's, man. Orzhov Clerics? No joke. Man, I was not expecting that. I figured it'd be strong. I didn't know it was going to be that strong. That was a really interesting deck on our opponent's side. Celestia Tokens combos? Uh, in it to win it, man. I love this deck list. Let's, let's go ahead and hop into this. I'm leaving it one and done, son. <laughs> Alright, watch that Queen's name, too. All right, guys, it's a one and done, son, type of moment, man. That game went really long. However, congratulations to my opponent. I really wish they would have stuck around because that was such a good game. I wanted a good game. I didn't know they were going to quit there. I thought they were probably going to let us take that last shot. Uh, it looked like we were both having fun kind of showcasing our decks. And, you know, I hate losing, too. But their deck performed really well, so congratulations to the opponent, man. I was not expecting Orzhov Clerics to be that fun. One card that I forgot to talk about was Defiler of Faith. So Defiler <laughs> on the opening. Defiler of Faith is a three colorless, uh, two white, five five. It's got Vigilance and as an additional... Uh, cost to cast a white permanent spell, as you may pay two life. Those spells cost one white less to cast if you paid life this way and this effect reduces only the amount of white mana you pay whenever you cast a white permanent spell create a white white or a one one a white white a super white soldier token um but yeah look besides my reading being kind of questionable um the deck was just crazy defiler of faith i'm a fan of the queen of 
my name's going to get me in trouble. Uh, I'm a fan of King Darian. I'm a fan of this entire package. I had a lot of fun with. Uh, could you use Hollow Haunting in here? I mean, possibly, but you don't really have a lot of enchants coming in to kick off uh, Hollowed Haunting. So I don't, I don't, I don't think so. That was something I was thinking about earlier, but then I was just kind of threw it to the side as a big no for me. Um, Leyline Binding might be something that you want to think of. Um, or or maybe an Adeline, but if there was any card that I was going to remove right now to uh, make room, I would probably remove a couple of the Resolute Reinforcements. Um, I saw this when I got the deck list off of online, and I'm not completely sold on it, but I know how it works with this deck list, so it could be just super good with this deck list, especially if you've got the queen on the field and the one, one comes in and then you create another one, one, and you got the veteran giving you life and you know, so on and so forth. But, uh, I think maybe if you take a couple of this out and put a couple of Adeline's in, I think that kind of maybe probably strengthens the deck a little bit. So real quick, let me do the, uh, whip pan on the screen here. All right. So there we go. If we add in a couple of Adeline's now, could you move maybe one more card and squeeze in a third here? Possibly. What would I do if I did that? I would probably go one join the dance down and squeeze in the third there. And then, like I said, don't forget about this Plaza Heroes three cost ability where you can exile it and target legendary creature gains hexproof and indestructible because you've got legendary creature and legendary creature and legendary creature and legendary creature. You got legendary creatures to utilize that with. And opponents haven't learned this one yet. I don't know if anybody really read that three cost um, uh, exile effect on, or sack effect on Plaza of Heroes. So really good, really underestimated. Guys, there it is. Celestia tokens combos. I know I copy and pasted from one of those two sites. I'll see if I can find the list there so the original can uh, definitely get the mention that it deserves. But uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Take it out, take it for a spin. It was a blast. Plus it showcased some really cool new cards that we've got right now, which is the King Darian, the Queen uh, uh Queen, yeah, and then uh, defile her face. So Queen all, um, she was in there too. But uh, yeah, guys, there it is. Deck list is yours now. Take it out. Take it, uh, have fun, man. If tokens and life gains your thing, and just powering up the board and just going crazy and just adrenaline rush and and just warlording the deck, this is the deck for you. Especially, don't forget, uh, defile her faith has vigilance too. So, so sweet take it out and give it a spin let me know what you guys think again thank you guys for your support i hope you guys are having a blast with dominator united so far we are so with that stay safe be happy and healthy i'll see you guys next time peace <laughs> all right love y'all